All right, so here is the Smith Medical Med Fusion 3500 syringe pump. I had an earlier video on this, um, but we're reshooting this anyway. So let's go over the syringe pump a little bit. Uh, you know, the pull clamp, serial number location. This is your battery door. You'll find your nickel metal hydride or nickel cadmium battery pack. Uh, the calibration kit consists of a large plunger and a small barrel clamp. I don't know I call it plunger, sorry. Small barrel clamp, large barrel clamp, and your force gauge. Uh, these are currently a pain in the ass to hunt down. Uh, you can try this manufacturer, Wagner. There's your part number. But, uh, this is new your back order. Anyway, so this is your barrel clamp. This is what tells the size of the barrel. This is your plunger sensor right here. The plunger, the back end of the syringe. So here is a 60 milliliter syringe from Beckton Dickinson, aka BD. So this is your plunger. This is your barrel, okay? Uh, and this guy over here is your syringe barrel flange clip um so make sure the where's it go there we go that's where this guy goes so when you're properly loading this so depending on the dosage for testing out yeah that's what you want to see you want to be able to see the numbers so you know where you're set up at barrel clamp is on the barrel so now we know the diameter of the unit flange they, if you notice if you look at different ones you'll see these are different sizes. This is part of the measurement so it knows which syringe and manufacturer you actually have. So if you select the wrong one, you will get an error. And then your plunger, this guy right here, is here between the two arms. There are adjustments for this uh, internal in here. If you've never taken this piece apart, move very slowly, be very careful, take pictures. It is a huge pain in the ass to reassemble if you've never done it before. Okay? If you have done it, it's the kind of pain in the ass. Gotta be truthful, all right? Anyway, this is how it should be loaded, all right? Uh, it's best to have fluid in here, not just air, because there's a difference in force when you're pushing out a fluid versus an air. Um, so any kind of connection you have, I have a hose connector that will connect to this to go down to either a graduated cylinder so I can verify the volume that has been delivered or just a bucket to get rid of it. So the first test we're going to do is the size and position. Um, that's good. Let's show you here. So power it on. Let it boot up. Now you're going to have a software version over here. This is important as far as recalls go. So there's your serial number. There's your version. Okay. Bada 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 bada. There you go. There's all the user stuff. Hit more. Two is biomed. Two. Password. Password's easy. It's right down the middle. Two. Five. Eight. Zero. Got it. Hit enter. And now we're in the screen. Okay. So one of the things you should remember to do, number three, utilities, set view and next PM, blah, 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 set view next PM date. Make sure you reset this each time. Otherwise you're gonna PM it, it's gonna go on the floor, and a nurse gonna be calling you that the machine is saying that maintenance is due and it won't let her use it. So always adjust that for a year. This also kind of helps you find it if you work in a hospital setting and you got to hunt these things down since they move all over the place. If you set this for the end of the month or the beginning of the month, whatever you want, of the PM month that it's due, it's going to find its way to you when it's due for PM. Make sense? All right. Um, let's get out of this. Oh, when you're entering the date, if you notice, it goes year first. So you would enter a year, really two zero see how it keeps going left to right month day so i have it set for new year's next year uh this is not for a hospital setting so it's not really an issue when we come in to do the pms we will hunt it down or redo it anyway so there you go all right now let's jump into actual calibrations back all right so calibration one no sorry one all right, first one, cal size and position. Calibrate syringe size and position. All right, here we are. See these numbers. All 
we move the barrel flange up. See that syringe size? That is just me moving the barrel flange. See that number goes up and down. Um, nothing else has any effect in here, so. Okay, so if you look at these numbers, minimum value, it's not going to take a barrel or a syringe that is has a smaller diameter than that, or one that is bigger than this. Okay, this is just what it is programmed for. And this is telling you where it actually is. All right, so we're going to load the small calibration slug. That is this guy right here. Just like so. There we go. We're right in here in our flange, there, and there. And the smallest number we've got right now is 119. Now it wants you to move the barrel flange up and down, or, I'm sorry, the barrel clamp up and down, just to make sure you have the smallest number. Now, oh, there we go. So, still 119, 118, 119, whatever. Um, so press continue. It will save that data. If you notice, it still says set up low stuff. Now we are plunger position, which is the other part of this, which is this guy, where this one is here, see? So I'll move that back and forth a few times. See your number changes. Try to zoom out so you can see what I'm doing. There we go. You can see that. Okay. Put it on there. 53. Press continue again. And now the low is done. Now we're going to move to the high. Which means the next barrel. I'm sorry, I'm the wrong name. So the next ah, calibration slug. Pull that guy out. And this big one here, okay? Pull that all the way out, drop this in, try to wiggle it in the flange, okay? Drop clamp down, tick, tick. There we go, see? Sitting properly, and boom, right there. So remember the first thing is the size of your syringe, okay? Continue. Now this guy over here, back and forth, make sure it's nice and snug. And for number, continue, and that is the high sensor. And that is it for cal size and position. Next we'll do the force sensor. Okay, so it's number two. And this will tell you if you have a good Jedi or not. May the force be with you, I'm just kidding. So for this test, this is our test right here. Make sure you are zeroed. See this little button right there? get to it. That's how we zero our gauge, okay? As you see, this is not a momentary. It holds in place. There you are, and zero, okay? Granted, that is not an exact zero. Let's not worry about that right now. All right, with nothing loaded, I'll open and close this, make sure it's not sitting up on anything or hanging up. So therefore it's at zero. Press continue. So wait, it's like 40, 50 seconds. So this can finish zeroing here. Okay, now that it's finished zeroing, press enter. Okay, ready? All right, so you're gonna load this in here. Make sure this is all the way back. This is slid up all the way against it. I'm not touching yet. You've zeroed. Your flange sensor, see this little rectangular piece here? flange sensor goes in that space so that we are nice and flush. Now with the flippers below this head, so we are pushing on the sensor portion of this black piece here. We're still zeroed. All right, now we're gonna move this up till we get to about 10 pounds of force, okay? So that's about 10. Alright, now all you have to do, press continue, and there you go. That is finished. Remove this bad boy. Now, you should definitely want us back for storage. Zero again. There we go. And keep your stuff where it's not going to get damaged. Okay? Other than that, basic PM tests, uh, you know, load your syringe, 
using 60 milliliters, set it for 240 milliliters an hour, that's what I do, and it should be 15 minutes. Set your timer and have your graduated cylinder so you can verify that you get 60 milliliters out. If you're using something other than the manufacturers they list in here, like if you're using a Terumo or some that garbage from McKesson or Henry Schein or any of these other little shit companies, it's not going to work. They don't make their own syringes. They just relabel other people's syringes. Good luck figuring out whose syringe that actually is, but your numbers will not be accurate. So you can't use it. It has to be what's physically in the library in here, okay? Uh, if you need to, oh, yes, sir. Save changes, yes, yada, yada, yada. Uh, if you want to see what the options are on your unit. So, Beck and Dickinson, Mono Eject, Terumo. That's it. All you can use in here, that's what's in the library. All right? Good luck. Ask me if you got any questions.